Hi, I'm Laurie, and welcome to your 12-minute ab workout. What you're going to need today is a mat, a set of super light dumbbells. If you don't have dumbbells, grab a water bottle, soup can in each hand, just something to provide you with greater resistance. And then also grab a mini band, uh, latex, and it's gotta be fairly light. Go ahead, set that down in front of you. All right, so today's focus is all about the anterior part of your core or the front right here, the abs. All right, so what we're gonna be focusing on today are the rectus abdominals or that six pack muscle group. We will also be focusing on that layer below it, the transverse abdominal, that layer of your core that wraps around as a corset. We'll be working the pelvic floor a little bit as we hit the lower abdominals and maybe possibly a little bit internal and external obliques as a secondary muscle group because everything kind of works together right through here. But that's besides the point. Main focus, the front, all right? So grab all your stuff, meet me back on your mat. All right, today's format, we have 10 exercises. Every exercise, 60 seconds each. We'll have 15 seconds to transition and recover in between those exercises. The first five exercises, we're doing body weight only so we can really get the engagement and activation where we want it to, which is right through here. Uh, the second time through, We'll perform these exercises with some props and we'll be adding uh, some different muscle groups into the mix as well. So first five, body weight only, and then we have these props. Make sure you have your mini band laid out in front of you and your dumbbells ready to go because the transitions are quick. All right, so first exercise, we have standing knee in. So we've all probably done the high knees before. Well, this time we're taking it slower. So slow it down exhale as the knee comes in. And what I want you to do on the exhale as the knee drives up is to feel your pelvic floor lift and engage those lower abdominals. So inhale and then exhale, engage. All right, that's the first 60 seconds. Second exercise, we're coming straight to the mat, but first standing knee ends in three, two, and one, let's work. You, I've been trying hard to keep my cool, but when you need, there's nothing that I can do. When you're walking in, I know it's true. I, it doesn't even matter how hard I try, cause when I hear your voice, my walls come down. Boy, you are the only thing I want. There must be a way I can make you see that if we fell in love, it would be so sweet. But when it's you and me, two and one bring it down to the mat we have body weight crunches so we're going to big deep inhale exhale again feel your pelvic floor lift engage tva engages rectus abdominals engage and then control it on the way down slow tempo let's go All right, next up, lower abdominals is the main focus. So as we exhale, knee goes in towards the chest and then we tap the heel. As an option, you can go here to here if you feel better engagement. All right, we go reverse crunches in three, two, and one.
and one. Next up, dead bugs. So shins parallel to the sky above, hands go up, and then opposite arm, opposite leg reaches, control it in. Option here, shorten your lever by bending the knee and tap the heel. Find which way you get better engagement. Let's go. Inhale to reach, exhale to lift. have that combination of a crunch and reverse crunch or a double crunch so we're still hinging at the knees tap the heels on the way down inhale on the eccentric exhale on the concentric let's go Bring it up to a standing position. We're going back to those knee ends, but now we're adding that prop. So go ahead, place that band right around the shoelaces. We're doing knee ends, same thing. Ooh, but this time we're gonna strengthen the hip flexors as well. So lower abs, and we're gonna use the hip flexors as we bring that foot in. And one, we're going to crunches. Go ahead and leave the band right where it is and press into the band. That's not the main focus though. Place a dumbbell on your chest. We go for crunches, one count up, slow and steady on the way down. Let's go.
and one. All right, we're gonna place that dumbbell in between the feet. Again, the band's just hanging out uh, so we don't have to mess with it. Now we're gonna do those reverse crunches with a weight. It's gonna feel a little bit more challenging. Option, release that weight. And one, grab that weight. All right, now we're using the band and the weights, but we need both of them, one in each hand. So we're going back to dead bugs. Now we're gonna press against that band, opposite leg, opposite arm, control it on the way in. All right, this is also gonna work your hip flexors and your quads. Let's go. It's also working your lap muscles. How could I forget? not about how fast you can go, but how many quality reps you can get in. So make that engagement, keep the activation, slow it down. Make sure you're keeping a neutral back, a neutral spine, especially in your low back. Make sure you don't have that anterior tilt popping up. It happens. Just fix it, be aware of it. Three, two, and one. All right, final exercise is a double crunch. We're gonna grab, just place both weights together. Now we're going for that double crunch, but this time adding the dumbbells behind the head to really challenge our core a little bit more, as well as those lats, let's go. So we're pressing into the band. So keep the feet about a foot apart. Inhale, three, two, one, one count, pause. One count, bring it in. My abs are on fire. We do not have to reinvent the wheel. The basic exercises are so, so good, especially if we slow the tempo down and get that activation, get that mind-muscle connection. 30 seconds and we're done. Let's keep going. One, we're done. Nice work. Get rid of all of those props and accessories. Oh, nice work. Go ahead, roll over onto your right side until we're on our belly and let's come into a little cobra stretch. Heart reaches forward and just hang out here. Slow the breath down, super quick. I never, uh, so a little something about myself. Inhale, exhale, let's come to a supported downward facing, or downward, upward facing dog and just swivel the hips left and right. Something about myself, I never, ever spend more than 10 minutes on abs when I go to the gym. It's uh, at the end and it's typically one of those exercises. Crunches, weighted crunches, uh, reverse crunches with a shortened lever just because I get better activation in my lower abdominals or I do some hanging uh, leg raises, typically with knees bent. All right, so one of those exercises, those knee ends, the standing one, that was a really great uh, hip flexor strengthener as well. So if you find that you're constantly feeling it in your hips, instead of your abs, you were supposed to feel it in your hips right there too. Uh, but that is a great way to help strengthen those hip flexors. Oh, nice work today. Big deep inhale. 
And then as we exhale, you can come into a little child's pose, take whatever other stretches your body is craving. Y'all, this is quick. If you wanna go for round two, go for round two, but that should be enough for most of us. My name is Laurie and have a wonderful rest of your day.